developing right now. A foundation headed by Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho is under investigation for money it received from the failed K-12 online learning platform. News in the investigation comes as Miami-Dade School Board meets with health care workers to create a plan to safely get students back in the classrooms. Let's get right to CBS 4's Ty Russell for the latest. Ty. Well, the inspector general is looking into funds given to the district by the company behind the K-12 online platform. It was given to the district right before a crucial vote on whether to keep K-12 or get rid of it. First, we heard from school board members earlier this week that are concerned, and now it's the inspector general who's looking into this to see if it's legal. The inspector general is currently looking into a near $1.6 million donation to Miami-Dade Schools Foundation. The chairman of it is Superintendent Alberto Carvalho. In a letter Wednesday, the inspector general wrote, board members' discussion and concerns about the money during Monday's meeting raised her eyebrows. I just don't want to send the wrong message to the community that, hey, you could wave in the air a couple million dollars um, to appease a fourth largest school district in, in the country and, you know, all things will go down quiet. During that meeting, board members asked their attorney for an opinion to see if the superintendent's foundation accepting the money was legal and not breaking district policy. That's because the foundation received the donation from K-12. That's the company that took responsibility for the rocky rollout of its online learning system. But there was still a multi-million dollar contract to officially purchase the online platform on the table. The superintendent had previously said he never signed the contract. The problem here is not shying away from any money. The problem here is the timing and the process of where that contract was still pending signature. And I, I like to get, I think that requires review. There was also mixed messages on the intent of the money. Was it meant for all teachers or some? K-12 sent a district-wide email message saying it was an incentive for teachers who completed tasks on the online system by a certain date. Carvalho said he didn't see it that way. Having been unaware of that language and certainly not reflective of at least my intent and ultimately what uh, the monies that we receive, which is for all teachers. The donation was made to the foundation on September 8th. The following day, board members held a meeting that went into the overnight hours where they got rid of the K-12 platform. But the foundation kept the donation with plans to give a $100 gift card to teachers. In a statement, the foundation's executive director wrote, we welcome the Office of the Inspector General's review of a contribution for the direct and sole benefit of teachers whose hard work and dedication during these trying times could not be ignored. We have complete confidence in the OIG's leadership and objectivity and will fully cooperate in this matter. We should also note that the school board chair serves as the vice chair for the foundation. Now, Monday, she too asked the school board attorney for an opinion on whether this is legal and ethical. Now, I should also note that I reached out to K-12 and still waiting for a response. We are live in downtown Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.